You've almost certainly heard about the devastating eruption of Hunga Tonga in 2022. While the brute intensity of the eruption dwarfed even all nuclear bomb tests ever conducted, it sent shockwaves around the entire globe. But amazingly, the Hunga Tonga eruption was not an isolated incident. In 2018, an incident occurred that threw experts into a mix of alarm and perplexity. The subsequent investigation yielded a finding that no one had expected. A giant volcano, twice the size of the Empire State Building, was lying dormant in the Indian Ocean. But what is the background of this monster eruption, which has been proven to set thousands of earthquakes in motion? Dive with us into the extreme world of underwater volcanoes and learn about the true power of nature. Mysterious Quakes The French Overseas Department of Mayotte is located in the Indian Ocean, between the coasts of Mozambique and Madagascar. While the archipelago usually makes headlines for its claims to independence, in 2018 it was hit by a series of strange events that no expert could initially explain. In fact, in detail, researchers here registered a large number of seismic activities, a so-called earthquake swarm. The center of the tremors could be located about 24 kilometers off the coast of Mayotte, and although the seismic waves were registered even in Hawaii, 18,000 kilometers away, they were not noticeable to humans. Volcanic activity was quickly suspected as the cause. One possible explanation was the magma had escaped from a volcanic chamber at a depth of 16 kilometers below the seafloor. This spectacle, in turn, had caused the roof of the chamber to collapse, causing the tremors. But in 2019, experts got to the bottom of the true background of the strange series of tremors. A colossal volcano has emerged in the Indian Ocean. But that's not all. We are dealing with the result of the largest known eruption in the sea so far. The birth of the volcano Where there had been hardly any elevation before, a massive underwater volcano grew up during the eruption, reaching a height of 820 meters. Located about 50 kilometers east of Mayotte, experts put the volume of the fiery structure at 5 cubic kilometers. To get to the bottom of the earthquake swarm, the team led by Natalie Foulet of the CNRS devoted itself to monitoring the region in February 2019. The sonar used for this purpose took a close look at a seafloor area of more than 8,500 square kilometers. In addition, several seismometers were installed in the deep sea. All in all, the instruments recorded more than 17,000 quakes within two months. The data revealed that the tremors occurred surprisingly deep. Some originated 50 kilometers below the ocean crust. Based on the information collected, the team was ultimately able to trace the birth of the underwater volcano. The volcano emerged from a gigantic magma chamber located in the mantle beneath the Earth's crust. As a result of tectonic processes, the rock of the Earth's crust ruptured allowing the magma to rise and form so-called dikes. These are plate-like bodies of indigenous rock that fill up large fissures and cut through the surrounding rock. In the context of this also, the latter registered swarm earthquakes occurred. Eventually, the magma made its way to the sea floor, where it created the volcano. What the formation of the volcano means for the future is still written in the stars. What is certain, however, is that the amount of magma ejected exceeds the estimates for previous events by a factor of 1,000. In detail, we are moving here in a volume order of magnitude which is usually observed only at the largest volcanic hotspots on Earth. That the newborn underwater volcano will erupt in the future is not excluded, but it is also conceivable that its caldera will collapse, or that even volcanoes on Mayette will erupt. A newly installed observation center will now keep an eye on the developments in the region. Hunga Tonga Eruption Located in the Pacific Ocean, the islands of Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapai look back on a literally eventful history. Originally separated from each other, the two islets became connected as a result of a volcanic eruption in December 2014. However, there is now not much left of the island which subsequently had a height of just under 115 meters. If you take a look at the corresponding region today, you will only see a few puny rock spires jutting out of the water. The reason for the island's disappearance is Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai. It's an underwater volcano that holds a brute record. 
It set in motion an eruption that exceeded the explosive force of any eruption measured in the 20th century. While the event easily ranks among the most powerful eruptions of all time, it even surpassed the intensity of all nuclear bomb tests ever conducted. Just imagine that, when Hunga Tonga shook the ocean floor on January 14th and 15th, 2022, the event was so immensely powerful that it even affected satellite communications. In order to understand the unbridled power inherent in such formations, it is therefore worth taking a look at the consequences that the volcano has far beyond its immediate surroundings. For indeed, the blast wave that accompanied the eruption chased several times around the entire globe. What's more, the booming rumble of the explosion could even be heard as far away as New Zealand and Alaska, and thus in areas 2300 and 9700 kilometers away, respectively, from the site of the fiery event. Against this background, experts estimate that it was one of the loudest bangs of all time. Disturbance of the Atmosphere But how is it that the effects of a volcanic eruption that occurs 150 meters below sea level can penetrate to the high atmospheric layers and affect satellites there? Well, to understand this, we need to take a short detour into the ionosphere, more precisely into the so-called F region. Located in the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere, molecules and atoms in the ionosphere are ionized by UV radiation from the Sun. In simple terms, this means that electrons are removed from atoms or molecules, leaving behind a positively charged ion. The F region, in turn, is located 150 to 800 kilometers above the planet's surface and has the highest ion concentration. This region is of particular importance for satellite communication. GPS signals, for example, are transmitted here over enormous distances. In detail, the radio waves are refracted there, reflected, and then directed back towards the Earth. However, it can happen that bubble-like structures with an increased plasma density develop within the F region, which can sometimes cause considerable turbulence in the system. While the so-called equatorial plasma bubbles, or EPBs for short, are known to interfere with the transmission of radio waves, experts have now gained a new insight. The immense pressure waves from violent volcanic eruptions can also be a major interference factor. In detail, the pressure wave changed the electron density over the equator. But this was not the only new information. In truth, the ionosphere was already in disarray several hours before the eruption. The previous model, which said that the corresponding disturbances only occur after the eruption, is therefore invalid. Further Consequences You don't have to be a volcanologist to know one thing. A volcanic eruption is always accompanied by the release of enormous quantities of gas and ash. In the case of Hunga Tonga, the key data read as follows. The diameter of the ash cloud reached a maximum extension of 470 kilometers, and at the same time, the height of the eruption column scratched the 60-kilometer mark, and thus advanced into the middle layer of the atmosphere. The spectacle also set a record in this category. Never before had such a high eruption cloud been observed from space. During the eruption, about 400,000 tons of sulfur dioxide entered the atmosphere but a noticeable effect on the climate would have been expected only from the value of 5 million tons. In the same breath, about 100 million tons of water vapor reached the stratosphere, and again, a comparable value has never been measured since satellite observations began. And although the eruption now occurred more than a year and a half ago, some serious effects are probably yet to come. A study published this year concludes that the vast amounts of water and sulfur dioxide that entered the stratosphere will cause a temporary global temperature increase. That also means the odds of global warming being less than 1.5 degrees Celsius by the early 2030s continue to drop. Tsunami and Casualties In addition to the consequences presented so far, the volcanic eruption also triggered a tsunami. Its maximum height was put at 15 meters in Tonga. On the main island, 50 buildings were destroyed and 50 others damaged. While many houses on the island of Mongo disappeared from one moment to the next, flooding occurred even in California and Peru. The tsunami's foothills eventually reached Chile's Pacific coast, which is more than 11,000 kilometers away from Honga Tonga. 
In terms of fatalities, five cases were confirmed on Tonga, and in addition, 15 people were counted injured. In one of the Fiji Islands, a woman died as a result of exhaustion after evacuation. In Peru, two people drowned in the tsunami waves. It is likely that the salinization of fields from the flooding will continue to affect Tonga agriculture in the coming years. It is very likely that the inhabitants will also have to be prepared for acid rain, triggered by the large amounts of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. This is an adverse effect that will hit the inhabitants of Tonga hard. More than 85% of the population works in agriculture and fishing. And with that, thank you for watching our video to the end. Be sure to leave us a thumbs up and a subscription so you never miss another one of our videos. And now we need your opinion. What do you think about the elemental power of underwater volcanoes? Did you know that such eruptions can even interfere with satellites? We are looking forward to your comments.